Okay guys, so I want to pop up another quick video. It is half past 10 um, on a Sunday night and we're just working on public inquiry. Um, public inquiry work here at the moment and files getting ready for starting back in January. Um, one thing I want to highlight guys is uh, we have a couple here, one for maintenance, okay, um, one for tachograph and tachograph management. So let me just hit the maintenance here very quickly because what we get a lot of is um, people regurgitating information, okay. Anybody can read the guide, the maintaining road orders, and anybody can read the you know publications by traffic commissioners. Um, but it's putting it in practice. Do you understand what needs to be put into practice? So let me put it very simply, and this is for any drivers um, watching, transport managers, fleet managers, whatever it is. Let me keep it very simple. There must be a system of defect reporting in place, but there must be a working system of defect rep reporting. And what I mean by that is um, the driver must, even if there's nil defects, must record that he has done a daily walk around check. Um, then what the inspectors should be doing and the fleet manager, the foreman, the transport manager, whoever's responsible for that, or even your compliance team, they must be taking that um, inspection safety report and anything that, that is a driver detectable defect, they must go back at least five days on that safety inspection sheet and see what is driver detectable. And if there's a driver detectable defect detected, well then disciplinary at some stage must come. Now when we say disciplinary guys, let's look at the driver's point of view. Majority of companies um, will not fix the thing. That's the first thing, okay? And what this leads into then is the driver not wanting to put down any more defects. And why should they keep, you know, defect and down defects on the vehicle when they're not being repaired? Now, having said that, there is a complete difference in a safety critical item or a testable item um, than there is in what somebody just wants fixed on the on the vehicle itself, okay? So I'm just looking at case files here and with one where. Um, the driver the night heater night heater was too noisy for example okay that's not driver detectable because it's not a safety critical item nor is it um, a testable item should we say okay however there are other ones here that we have with them um, lights not working we have spray suppression hold defective and um, the guys are saying that they don't have to be repaired of course they have to be repaired because if you go into the categorization of defect if you go into the tester's manual if it's not acting as the shield that it was intended for well then it needs to be repaired okay so anyway guys just want to just want to highlight again because we're kicking off 2020 with a whole um uh, what could you say flood of public inquiries and preliminary hearings and uh, you know that's what we do day in day out we don't mind that however the operator at the end of it has to make sure that they have sufficient evidence of compliance and um, we get contacted every day about um, people wanting us to come and do compliance and do compliance audits and all and all they want to do is tick boxes and I think that shows why we've terminated so many um, customers this year again like we do every other year but you know as I said before in another video customers that we have uh, terminated for services you know 95% of them are back on board with us and they're back on board with us after we make the decision um, and we get the guarantee from that period that they want to compliant. There's no issue with that but please guys do not tick boxes do not be wasting your time um, putting you know I'm not going to say fake systems in place because if you look at the road safety aspect you look at the good repute aspect the systems in place must be working and they must be sufficient and they must be relevant as well okay so anyway guys quick video just regarding maintenance um, and you know driver defect reporting making sure your maintenance inspectors your, your inspectors and your mechanics understand the difference between driver detectable defects and um, just maintenance issues okay so anyway guys that is all it is half ten it's Sunday night um, we're still here in Berlin and we need a shutdown that is all